Hi there again, Sakuji, Sean Wolf. So today we are going to be talking about consonants. Um, as the last session we had, if you guys remember, we talked about the vowels, and now we're going to be introducing the sounds uh, in consonants in, Zap in Valley Zapotec. So to begin with, we again, we're going to be looking at the uh, Kalichu. Okay, so we're going to start on page 16. Uh, it's 2.4. It says valleys up with the consonants. So uh, just as in any, in any other languages, right, like Spanish or English, we have different consonants, the sounds. And on 2.4, as you can see there, um, we have a few consonants that um, letters that have sounds like Spanish or English, right? Like the CH, F, L, M, uh, N, P, S, and then we have the T, and the uh, CH is a letter of combination, which we'll look at in a minute. But um, uh, if we continue with, uh, with these words, uh, with these consonants rather, and then I want you guys to listen carefully how they sound in a word. So uh, we begin with CH and then we have a word that we're using there, which is Chan, uh, which means Feliciano. So again, listen to the sound of the CH in Zapotec. So it's pronounced Chan. Again, Chan. And then we have the next word, which is cafe. Cafe, you already saw this word earlier when we look at the vowel, so there it is again. But pay, pay attention not to the vowel, but rather to the, uh, to the consonant sound. So again, cafe, cafe. And then the next word is lechu. Is the third one. I'm pointing my, uh, well, it's not an arrow here, my cursor. Lechu, lechu. The next one, it's M, and it is pronounced in a word, mon, mon. Okay. And the next one is the N, as in canel, canel. Next word, the P, plati, plati, and the S, solicitu, solicitu, and the last one on that column, it's tan, tan. So as you guys can see, uh, it, it has those sounds that you, we might find in either Spanish or English, right? So. And then this, we have a C, which is an interesting uh, consonant because um, we only use it for it's for a sound that's ka, similar to like car. Uh, and I know that again, for those who speak Spanish, I don't think that it works just like in Spanish uh, because I think in Spanish, if you have an E or an I in front of it, it is pronounced as an S, but in Zapotec, it is never, never pronounced as, a, as an S sound. I hope that makes sense. So in other words, you can only use it with uh, CA, CO, or CU in Zapotec with that sound, but we do not use the C in order to represent the S sound. Does that make sense? Okay, so like in that one, right, Capi, it's a CA. So uh, as I said, you know, if, if you if you see it, uh, it's it's always a ka sound like like in car, for example, or Spanish kilo, right? Uh, and if you we don't use it, for example, like in cine or uh, in English in cinema. So this, so forget about Spanish or English for now. Okay, so let's move on to twenty four. I'm sorry, 2.4.2, and we're going to look at the sounds that are more like Spanish sounds. So uh, we can look at these words, and actually some of them are derived from Spanish, as you guys can see there in terms of Pedro, dice, gain. So um, I'm going to pronounce the first word for you guys. So, and then I hope that, again, you are making an effort to pronounce the words as well 
every chance you get. So I'll say them twice. For the B is bad. Again, bad. And the next one for dice is that, that. And the last one is gone, gone. One more time, gone. So and so the next one is the J, uh, and it's pronounced like Spanish. Although, so I'm just trying to make references to language that you might know, right? But remember, uh, as I said earlier, that you need to forget about the rules that you know about Spanish or sounds in Spanish or English, because it's, uh, even though there are some similarities in some of the uh, sounds, however, uh, it's not really, it's not gonna work exactly the same way that it, uh, it does in Spanish. So for J, it is pronounced, uh, as I said, a bit like Spanish, so it's who, who, all right? So one more time, who, and then we have uh, the R and, and double R. So, and, and I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier on the first, uh, on the consonants, when we talk about the spelling system that we have in Valley Zapotec, that once you know the rules, that you can use those rules to say a word uh, or to write uh, or read it, right? So in Zapotec, we really do make a distinction writing uh, between R and two, uh, and two R's. In Spanish, I know that if a word begins with um, R, it is pronounced as if it were two R's, for example. Let's see, radio, right? So you have only one R at the beginning. But in Zapotec, it's different. For example, the examples we have here is like uh, the first one, it's, it's pronounced ri, ra, right? So um, it, it's a soft R. It's not, as I said, it's not in, like in Spanish. So forget about the rules of Spanish that if you see a word beginning with an R, you pronounce it as if it were two double R's, right? Like in perro, and, and that, that's a, a double R. And then we have an example of how do we use two R's in the sounds of it. So uh, we have right here where I have my cursor, frog. So we have run, run, because it is spelled with two R's. And then the next one is relo, relo. So if you guys can hear uh, the difference between frog, run, uh, pay attention to the R sound. So frog is run, and all is ra, ra, run. So it doesn't really matter whether we start uh, a, the, a word with uh, one R, we never do the same, what the rules that we use in Spanish, okay? So just be very careful that when you are looking at the word, uh, if it is a single R, you pronounce it differently. If it is a double R, you pronounce it differently, even if it is in the middle of a word, so it doesn't really matter. So let's move on to the uh, 2.4.3. Uh, and now we're gonna be looking sounds that are more like English. The Zapotec sound Z, it's, it's almost like English, like the English sound of Z as in zoo, right? And I think I mentioned that earlier too in my previous, um, in the previous session that there is a distinction, on sounds distinction between an S and a Z in this uh, form, um, this uh, spelling system that we have here. For example, in Spanish, right, you don't make a uh, difference, difference in sound between the S, or at least in Mexico, you don't, um, between the S and a Z. For example, if you say sona, right, with the Z O N E, it's sona or zapato, and so those are with with Z, right? So, but in Zapotec, you do make because it's a tonal language, as I, uh, as some of you might know. So we need to make sure that uh, we we use the correct sound or correct uh, consonant to to say the word. For example, the one that uh, you guys are seeing here. 
uh, and the 2.4.3, it's, it's, uh, is standing, and that's a ZU, so we pronounce it as ZU, ZU, right? If it were written with an S, we put, we pronounce it SU, SU, but since it's a Z, we pronounce it as ZU, one more time, ZU, and then we have this uh, letter combination Z and H, uh, which represent a sound that is used in English, but not written in a consistent way. So it's uh, pronounced like pleasure, right? So the word for vase in Zapotec is jar. Jar. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Jar, right? So just think of the ZH and think about the pleasure of your having saying vase, <laughs> right? Anyways, um, and then we have a W, uh, which is a letter that's not used much in Spanish. Zapotec W is pronounced uh, something like we in, in English, so it's a kind of a soft U. So uh, in, in the uh, example that we have in Guava, uh, we pronounce it we one more time. We and now you it's your turn to come on. We all right, and then we have a Y, and the Zapotec Y sound is pronounced about something equivalent to you uh, in, in English, like you. <laughs> Many Spanish speakers use this the same sound like yo, like I, but remember that Zapotec. In Zapotec, it, it does make a difference whether we're going to use an I or a Y. So it's very soft Y, such as in yuk, yuk. I don't know if you guys can hear it, like yuk. And we'll come back to these uh, differences between the Y and an I later on in another session. But for right now, just practice with me. So let's uh, do the last. Uh, three words starting with base, so it's, it's right here. So, jar, jar, and then for guava, it's we, we, and then the last word is you, you, all right. So now we have also uh, Y using uh, is used there as a combination of letters, such as the ones that I mentioned earlier, the ZH. We also have um, Y as part of these combinations uh, with the consonant together, right? So it's ciudad, ciudad, and it's not, it's not really pronounced like in Spanish I. It's, 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 it's a little bit softer, so I don't know if you guys could, could hear that ciudad, or the next one, which is medicine, Rmuj, Rmuj. There's a very soft ending Y at the, uh, with the deep Y, uh, because if I were gonna pronounce it with an I, so I would be Rmuj, which is not what I'm saying. I'm saying Rmuj, Rmuj. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference between uh, those two uh, ways of saying it if if I were going to use an I. So it wouldn't be removed, it would be removed D. But with an I, it softens the sound of the D. Okay, so, and then we have other ways of uh, using the the Y. Uh, the, over there uh, where it says Juan, uh, it says Juan, Juan. The NY, it sounds all, it sounds like the English word, like in Kenyan, right? That sound, that like Kenyan. Or sometimes you might want to think about the NY as an ñ in, in Spanish. So whenever you see the NY, you just think about the, the sound of uh, the word like Kenyan, right? So uh, just, just be careful there. Don't try to put an I that is not there. And the other word that we have um, is the uh, letter X. And this one, um, it's 
sometimes it's well not sometimes but it sounds like s h uh and like an sh or uh something like an exit right um so the way it sounds in Zapotec in week is shman shman or almost like if you're shashing so much shman shman and in Spanish you don't really find that sound unless those are Spanish are from uh, Nahuatl um, yeah, that they use for example in the word Mexica, right? A lot of, many times when we talk about the people, the Nahuas, the Mexica, so that's that's the same sound, like in Mexica, shh. Anyway, so, uh, okay, let's move to 2.4.4, and we're gonna be looking at two special spelling. The Zapotec sounds is written as a letter combination, the a G U as in get sour, Sour, so it's pronounced ergui. I'm sorry, ergui. My bad. Ergui. Ergui. And again, this 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 letter is never written before a, an e or an i. So it's if we're gonna do the e and i, and then we're gonna. Uh, um, use a U there. Does that make sense? So another word, uh, so if I, it's, it's uh, for those who know Spanish, a similar rule that if you have G-U-E, -G I mean, G-U-E and G-U-I, you know, you have to have that U there. So it's, you would not write it as G-E or G-I. Uh, without the U. So I hope that makes sense. It's just some rules that we created that works for uh, this uh, type of, um, for this consonant. So, uh, and again, as we, we continue and you'll see, uh, you'll be practicing, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll get it, I hope. And the next one is the QU that works very similar with the GU. So you, we use it with the QU uh, and then with an I or an E. So like the example we have, we'll pay, quiche. Again, the pronunci pronunciation is quiche. So again, you don't use just the QI. So you need that you. To, in order to write out that word. So if you're if you are writing like K, like Q U uh, Q U E, it could be pronounced K as in Keza, which we'll we'll talk about later. Okay, so I hope we're not moving too fast, but you can always tell me to slow down if if you feel that um, for the future uh, lessons that I'll be uh, posting. Uh, I hope that uh, we are at the right pace. Uh, I don't wanna go through these pronunciations too quick because I wanna make sure that you guys um, understand the rules, okay? All right, so as you guys can read there, it says the QU represents exactly the same sounds as C, but the letter is not used before E or I. Zapotec QU is never pronounced like English, to you as in quick, right? You uh, you pronounce the U in Zapotec, you don't pronounce the U, just the E and the I. So in 2.4.5, we have two special pronunciations. So Zapotec W and I are pronounced in an unexpected way when they appear in the beginning of a word before a consonant. But guys, remember that in such word as, um, Ujar, Ujar, uh, okay. There's some more like uh, I there. So, or the word tomorrow, EG, EG. So the W uh, sound at, uh, at the beginning before a consonant is Ujar, one more time, Ujar. And the Y sound at the beginning before a consonant, it's EG, EG. All right, so 2.4.6. 
we have uh, two more combinations of, uh, of consonants here. So the letter combination N and G can be pronounced in two ways in Zapotec. At the beginning of the word or in the middle of a word, it is pronounced rather like uh, English NG, like finger, finger, or like in Spanish, mango. Uh, so now let's, let's keep that in mind and then let's pronounce sour in, uh, in Zapotec. So, ngi, ngi. Again, there's the G U I where you don't pronounce the U if you guys remember that we went over the rules a minute ago. So it's ngi, ngi. And again, for those who speak Spanish, it's a similar rule that we have in the Spanish, okay? All right, so now uh, we are gonna try to go over the uh, the whole alphabetical order. And if you guys just go to page, let's see, 23, 2.8, uh, the Zapotec alphabet order, and then we'll just go through the whole uh, alphabet here. So. As you guys can see in 2.9, the reference chart on Zapotec spelling and pronunciation. So I'm gonna go through this uh, chart with you guys. So I'll, um, I'll start with the A. So, and then what I'll do is that I'll say the example twice, okay? So you just uh, listen up, pay attention to, these, to the sounds, to the vowels, to the consonants, and hopefully, you know, as you hear this word over and over, you'll be able to recognize the sound, okay? So here we go. Uh, for the first one, it's for the A is ciudad, ciudad, B, bed, bed, C, capi, capi, Remember that we don't use the C's with I's or E's, okay? So and then we have the CH and and Zapotec example, it's uh, Chan, Chan. All right, let's keep going. D, Dad, Dad, okay? E, Café, Café. E with two dots. Shthadam. Shthadam. All right. And also, if you look at the pronunciation guide, that's the last um, column, and we'll, and I think that uh, we'll explain that how that works later on. Okay. So for now, just, I guess, just listen. Uh, the pronunciation, the F is cafe, as I, cafe, G, can. Gan, G U, Rgi, Rgi. Remember, guys, you don't pronounce the U when you have an I and an E. I is we, we, and then we have the J's as in hook, hook, hook. The L like Spanish, lechu, lechu, and then we have M, as in mon, mon, and then we have the N, canel, canel, NG, ngi, ngi, O, mon, mon, P, plati, plati, Q, U, we use it with I and E, quiche, quiche, and then we have one R, ri, ri, double R, ran, ran, okay, and then we have the S, solicitu, Solicitu T Tan Tan, and then we have a TS as we have discussed in lesson as we will be discussed later. But it's um, right now it's 
uh, just omit it. So we'll, you know, we'll get into that in the next um, lesson. And then we have U as in zoo, zoo, W. If I listen carefully, we, we, and then we have the X. Shman, Shman. Remember, it's just like you know, shushing somebody. Sh Shman, Y, U, U, and then Z, Zu, Zu. And remember that the difference between uh, the S and the uh, Z sound. Okay, so they're not equal. So we have solicitu, right? And then we have Z is zu, which is like English. And then I think it's the final word that we have in this chart, which is uh, vase. So it is pronounced jar, jar, jar. So I hope that um, you begin to see how important it is uh, uh, that you understand the difference between these sounds and also uh, the, the rules that we have. Uh, if you just learn them, I think that you will be, once you master that, as I said earlier, you like, uh, you know, you can hear a word and then you can tra transcribe it. So, uh, so I hope that's, well, that's, that's the idea, right? Uh, for having this simple um, spelling system that we have and, uh, well, that's it for today, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and please uh, keep, um, keep up with the work, and then um, again, once we meet, uh, you can ask me all the questions that you have, um, so until then, bye.